Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Building a Sanctuary in the Heart, a manual for the development of personal intimate relationship with Hashem. We're on section one, clarifying the purpose of life, and we're on chapter five, and it states, we will provide an example. A carpenter takes a saw in one hand and a board in the other and begins to saw. If while sawing the board, his thoughts are preoccupied with other matters and he does not put his mind to the task, it is likely that the cut will be faulty. The board will slip out of his hand or he might has shalom even cut his hand. This may happen even though when he took the saw in the hand and he knew clearly what he was doing and why he was doing it and he knows how to use this saw. Nevertheless, when, he actu- when he's actually sawing, all this escapes his mind and he's thinking about something else completely. The same applies to our discussion. Hazal have said that a judge must imagine that a sword is placed between his thighs and a small error would be dangerous. Rav Yisrael Salanter Shlita had said that this applies to each person for everyone is a judge over himself. Our work in this world is comparable to the case of the carpenter. If chas v'shalom, one is distracted from the purpose and goal of his life, he is in constant danger. Thus, after one clarifies the purpose of his life, he must live with this knowledge on a daily basis, hour by hour, literally tested moment by moment. The knowledge of the purpose of life is not just a fact that one hears about, writes down, and then flies away for the record, cleaning off the dunce once a year before Pesach. This knowledge must be experienced, lived, and breathed so that one is totally attuned to it. How ironic, you know, this uh, book, I believe, was probably first put out in 2008, and this uh, you know, this lesson, today's chapter, couldn't be more right on target with today's times. I mean, we are constantly bombarded with distractions and no bigger distraction than our, you know, our smartphones. So uh, this is cer- certainly something that trips up, I think, just about the majority of people. I don't want I don't want to like shortchange all the ones that are actually doing it uh you know, correctly, but for sure, uh, this is a challenge for a lot of people. Uh, we're just distracted by so many things, uh, and, and it is. It, it, this is why Shabbos in itself is just a wonderful thing, because it does give you that time to just unplug and actually talk to somebody. And in this day and age, you know, when we're just filled with uh, our discussions, our emojis and LOLs, and, you know, uh, it's very difficult. I don't even think that people know how to relate to each other anymore. Uh, and this, uh, for sure, the distractions. And if it's if that's not enough, you know, you have the Yitzhara every time you want to do a mitzvah. Here he will come and he will just uh, really trip you up. So really, this is a problem for everyone. And again, encouraging you during the month of Elul to go out there, meet the king in the field, and he will help you, especially in this area. And you just cry to him, Akodesh Baruch I need your help in this area. I'm so distracted. Let me be just focused. When I'm doing this mitzvah, I'm doing this mitzvah 100%. I want to connect to you. I just want to be a part of you. Uh, So that's it for today. Uh, And uh, uh, hopefully we'll be all together again soon. Besrat Hashem.